For reasons known only to Warner Brothers accountants, there is a sequel to the live-action Scooby-Doo movie. <laughs> and since no mindless blockbuster is complete without an equally mindless video game tie-in, consider, if you will, Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. <laughs> I guess I'd like to say the game's great, but it's not. Um, however, I can say that's not without its charms. And if nothing else, Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem does get the atmosphere right. But it seems the library is full of ghosts. The game is divided into episodes, not levels. And there's even a cheesy laugh track, which does a lot to help set the proper mood. I'm so sorry, but we've lost the key to the basement. <laughs> So, so far, so good. But then the reality sets in. That wasn't meant to be funny. Anyway, Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem quickly turns out to be just another run-of-the-mill find-and-fetch quest. Like, look what I found, Scoob! I can't see anything without my glasses. The game provides a checklist of goals, and it's up to Scoob and Shaggy to complete them. But there's no real flow, just a linear series of getting from point A to point B with some simple puzzles thrown in. Meanwhile, the story tries to fill in the gaps. There you go, Velma. Thanks, Shaggy. Hey, what's this? It's our groovy old book me and Scoob found. To be fair, the game seems to be designed this way to accommodate for a younger audience. But anyone old enough to remember the original cartoon series will just be bored. Like you want to go first? You can switch between Shaggy and Scooby on the fly, but there are surprisingly few instances where one is any more useful than the other. It's known as the Tome of Doom. Tome of Doom? Your main weapon against ghosts and monsters is a book that acts as a sort of ghost vacuum. Successfully trapping ghosts involves an awful lot of button mashing. Yeah, this aspect of the game feels awkward and is only mildly fun, like what? Twice, maybe. There's a feeble attempt to add in some stealth elements to the game, but it's not really fleshed out. Occasionally, you can put on costumes to sneak past enemies, which is cute, but it just feels like too little, too late. From its linear gameplay to rather flat humor, Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem is clearly designed to appeal to the elementary school demographic. Zoinks. Zoinks indeed. The truth is, if you do play this one, you'll probably just end up sleepy. Right, guys? Yeah, a better name for this one might have been scooby Don't. We can only afford Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem, an underwhelming two out of five. <laughs>